Whatever you are following, whatever you are pursuing, are hidden and carrying your cross. You cannot carry your cross for Jesus. You cannot live for Jesus and remain a common. You cannot live for Jesus Christ. You cannot give yourself fully to Christ and live a common life. That is a liar. Call me, follow me. And I will make you. Follow me, Peter. Follow me, Peter. And I will make you something else. You cannot follow Jesus fully and be a common in this world. You want to be honored. You want to be respected. You want to be acknowledged wherever you go. The secret is to follow Jesus Christ. Is to live for him. Is to live according to his word. Is to obey his word. Because who is Jesus? Yes, if we go in John chapter 1, yeah, in, the beginning, no, in, in the beginning, was the word, and the word and was with God. And the word came to flesh. And nothing was made without Whatever the word. Whatever you want to be created in your life, you need a word. You need a word. You need a word. Jesus is the word. Yes, Jesus is the word. Yes, if you follow him, if you carry your cross, if you are ready to suffer for him, he must manifest in your life. He will honor you. Take the cross. He will distinguish you. Take the cross. He will distinguish you. Take the cross. You cannot follow Jesus fully. Where is your comfort, Jesus? And be a common in this life. Now back him to our own agenda, Mashiach. The names which are given the Bible. Imagine, to live according to the Bible. They are just common people. But when they align their life to Christ, they become celeb in this life. It's only Jesus Christ who can lift you up and nobody will put you down. It's only Jesus Christ when he blesses you, when he visits your life, it doesn't matter those who are jealous of you. It doesn't matter you are haters. They cannot take what God has for you. They cannot change the plan of God for you. They cannot deny God not to give you what has for you. It's only God who can lift you in the, in the midst of enemies and, uh, and David knew this and in the midst of my enemies God is preparing a celebration for me Ananda celebration. he's preparing a celebration for me Ananda he doesn't matter those who are against me he doesn't matter those who are against you when you, when you align yourself to Jesus he's the Alpha and Omega he's the God of gods he's the King of Kings he's the Lord of Lords nobody is powerful than him in other words, whatever he decide over you, nobody will contradict it. Nobody will resist it. Why? Because he's the Lord of Lords. He was given a name which is higher. He heaven on earth and under the earth. Even the devil fear him. Even the death fear him. When he bless you, nobody will curse you. And when he's calling us, when he's giving us a condition to be his disciples, the partakers of his power and glory on earth, because he wants to use you. He wants to use you here on earth. He wants to elevate you. As the Bible says, as I am higher, my people will be higher. You shall not be the tail. But you shall be the heads. 
You shall not borrow. But you shall lend. That is the will of God for you. But you are living in borrowing. You are the dead wherever you go. Because you have not, you have not understand the secrets. The secrets. Siri is to carry your cross. I accept to suffer for him. Because I know this suffering is for a moment. This suffering it's not last. I know the glory which is waiting me is more than the pain which I'm going through now. Why? Because you have a revelation. You are not going to compromise. You are not going to live in sin. You are not going to offer your body to anybody. Because you know God will bless me. I'm a peculiar. I'm a unique. I'm a blessed person. You are not going to walk in the ways of the people of the world. Because we are not the people of the world. We are not the people of the world. That's what the Bible says. Fear not what they fear. Fear not COVID as they fear it. Fear not death as they fear it. Fear not sickness. As they fear it. Because, because me, I'm Jehovah Rapha. I'm the healer. Even when you are sick, I'm Jehovah Rapha. Even when you are broke, I'm Jehovah, I'm Jehovah Jireh. I am your provider. Don't fear what they fear. Because every name of God reveal his nature to us reveal what he can do for us praise be the name of Jesus hallelujah Amen. if we go to Colossians chapter 1 verse 16 we'll understand those things which have said earlier Colossians chapter 1 verse 16 for in him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or authorities. All things were created through him and for him. Praise be the name of Jesus. Those things which int intimidates you. The power, authorities, Nguvu na mamlaka. principalities, na, na sultani, we are created by him na ye. and for him. Na kwa jili yake. Whatever you are running for, kila, kila kitu mbachu na torokea mbali, whatever you are looking, whatever you are pursuing in this life, it was created by him. Kili umbwa na ye. The job you are looking to was made Kazi by him. Wealth was created by him. Utajiri. Long life. Maisha marefu. Kings, ruler. Wafalme. Those positions which you are after. If hizo nyadhi fambazo na tafta. Were created by him. And for him. Na kwa jili yake. Anyone. Yeyote. Who does not deny his father, his mother, his sister, his brother, cannot be my disciple. Why we should deny those people for him? Because he wants to be a priority in our life. He's taking us to that statement which Paul says. <laughs> no more me who live, but Christ in me. The wealth which you are looking for. The riches which you are, you are, you are pursuing. The you are pursuing. We are created by him and for him. You have to understand that position which you are praying for. It was created by him and for him. In other words, to serve him. How are you going to serve him? When you are not following him. How are you going to, to serve him? When you cannot deny yourself for him. Because carrying the cross. 
is feeling pain it to be in pain nikukua katika pain when you are pleasing him wakati unampendeza because you are ready to carry the cross unabeba msalaba you are able to give money unaweza ukatoa for his kingdom kwa sababu ya ufalme when you have needs wakati kuna mahitaji you are able to put his, his needs a priority unaweka mahitaji yake kama kipaumbele because you have denied yourself for him sababu umejinyima kwa ajili yake because whatever you want to have chochote unataka kuwa nacho it was created by him and for him kimeumbwa kwa ajili yake na father what to serve him kutumika praise be the name of jesus Why are you quiet like this? Are you getting something? Unapata kitu. Hallelujah. Amen. When Jesus is talking about carrying the cross, wakati Yesu anazungumzia kuhusu kubeba msalaba, we must understand the difference. Lazima ujue utofauti between the two cross of thieves, kati ya msalaba misalaba ile miwili ya wezi and the cross of Jesus Christ. Na msalaba wa Kristo Yesu because you may be carrying the cross of the two thieves nazo kana ba msalaba wa wezi the cross of thieves msalaba wa wezi was the judgment of their actions ilikuwa ni hukumu ya actions zao ama matendo it was the condemnation ilikuwa ni condemnation of their secret life ya maisha yao ya siri which was exposed in the public ambayo ilionyeshwa katika public They are doing things in the secrets. Alifanya vitu katika siri. Because not thief which uh, because we have to understand a thief and a robber. Mwizi. The Bible it, it doesn't it doesn't call them robbers. Bila anasema wao ni ni but it called them thieves. Anasema ni wizi. Robbers can take things when you are watching them because uh, they robber. use power and force anatumia nguvu but thieves mwizi they steal watakuibia they take things in the secrets nachukua vitu katika siri when you are unaware wakati hujui which means this activity which they are doing so hivi vitu ambavyo wanafanya it was a secret activity ilikuwa ni ni vitu vya kisiri and the cross which was they were carrying na msalaba ambao walikuwa nabeba it was the expose ilikuwa uh, ilikuwa ni kuonyesha They are secret life to a public. Maisha yao ya siri katika public. They are ashamed. Wakaaibishwa. For the life they are living in secrets. Kwa kwa sababu kwa sababu maisha ambayo walishika katika siri. And this can be my questions for all of us. Na hii ni swali langu kila mtu. The 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 the, 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 the trouble, the situation you are facing. Hali ambayo unapambana nayo. The humiliation you are walking through. Na na hibo ambayo unatembea nayo. The suffering you are in. Na mateso the shame which cover your life na, 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 na aibu ambayo inazingira maisha the shame of your secret life je ni ya maisha ya siri you can answer unaweza kujijibu yourself the shame which you are in hiyo aibu ambayo uko ndani the humiliation which you are in maile wa kudofeka the trouble which you are facing shida ambazo unapambana nazo the problems after problems shida baada zingine are the humiliations humiliations are the outcome je ni matokeo of your private life ya maisha yako ya siri because there are things we do in private na vitu ambavyo tunafanya katika siri where nobody sees us yambo hakuna naeona but whatever we do in secret chote ambacho kinafanya katika siri it will be paid in public italipwa katika wazi it will be exposed in public itaonyeshwa katika wazi the kind of life you are living maisha ambayo unaishi it is a reproduction ni uzalishaji of the life you are living in the secret ya maisha ambayo unaishi katika siri oh it a cross ama ni msalaba which take you to glorification ambayo utakupeleka katika utukufu because the cross of the thieves ni salaba yake wale wezi but the cross of the humiliation condemnation Ili... and death physical death and spiritual death ilikuwa ni ya kuwawa ilikuwa ni ya hukumu except the one we who acknowledge Jesus ispokuwa yule ambaye alimtambua Kristo and repented na katubu and Jesus promised him na Yesu kama idea you will be together with me utakuwa pamoja nami in paradise katika paradiso because he repented kwa sababu alitubu and that is a special grace so any name special which many people uh, always waits ambao watu wengi wanangojea 
That is a special grace. When you are about to give your life. When you want, you are ready to die. And you are saved. That is a special grace. And that is what many people are waiting. How many people want to give their life to Christ? No, Pastor, I know I will fall, I will fall again. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting that day. You don't know the day, you don't know the time. Because you will come like a thief. You may be in a sleep and it's over for you. And after that, we take you uh, to Langata there. And it's over for you. If you are in this place and you never give your life to Christ, this is your gospel. This is your time. Don't wait when you are about to die. Don't wait that day. Because you, know, you don't know how it will come to you. Somebody sent me a video of ladies in a vehicle packed with beers enjoying themselves crates and crates of those small small uh, beers packed. they are going to enjoy they are happy after one hour they car was squeezed and what was coming out of it it was just blood it was just blood. All of them died the same day. Yes, you are telling us, Pastor, let us enjoy life. But this life is not yours. This life, Manus, is not yours. This is not mine. That's why I always say it. Serving God, it's not a favor I do for you. It's a privilege given to me. Go in the hospital. And ask Na ulize. one kg of oxygen, kg moja oxygen is how much? And calculate for hour. Na kisha, kisha, kisha calculate for a day. Kwa masa, kwa siku. Have, you, have you heard about the bills of those who are suffering with COVID? Umesikia, bile wala the bills COVID. in the millions. It's you can take a millions. You know, no, 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 no shindan wala mdunga. Akuna syringe. It's just oxygen. Oxygen pekiaki. Which God has given you. Which you have this morning. And you are well. saying why I should serve him. When I am suffering. You are better than a dead lion. The Bible says it's better a, a, a living dog. Than the dead lion. It doesn't matter how Chris Kirubi was, was wealthy. You are better than Chris Kirubi today. You can perform the things which he never done in his life. Because he can change your life today and you become somebody in this life. But this Kirubi cannot make any change anymore. But that why the gift which you have, the gift of life, Maisha, it's a privilege. privilege. And you have to know it. That's why when you serve him, so you have to, to serve him in fear and trembling. Because you know you are not doing him favor. You are not adding to him anything. He is God without me. He will be God without you. He will remain God without all of us. Praise be the name of Jesus. Amen. Hello. Hello. Praise be the name of Jesus. The cross which you are carrying, of which shamed you, it's a cross of thieves. It's a cross of condemnation, of judgment, because of your secret life. The kind of suffering which you are in, is the suffering because of your secret life? Or is just the cross of God? I'm suffering because of him. 
Haikanot do what they are they are doing. Siwezi nikafanya wanachokifanya. I look like weak. Nakani kama mimi ni mnyonge. I look like nobody. Nakani kama si kitu. Because I cannot do what that mama is doing. Sasa siwezi kafanya kile ambacho yule mama anafanya. She's driving good machines. Anaendesha magari mazito. She wear powerful uh, attires. Anavaa manguo ya bei. But I know where she, she got them. I know what she used to do. I am the way I am. Even nobody consider me. Because I carry my clothes. I suffer for him. I suffer humiliation for him. Nobody consider me. Because I have nothing good. I have nothing attractive. But I accept it. Because I love him. Because I know, one day he will reveal himself to me. One day he will change my situation. One day he will change my condition. One day, one day, one day, one day. One day, one day, one day. I will be somebody. One day I will be considered. One day I will be visited. One day my address will be changed. One day I will be somebody. Today nobody call you. Nobody visit you. Nobody nobody associate you. Nobody want to be part of you. Because you are carrying the cross of suffering for Jesus. You are carrying the cross of humiliation. They have named you all kind of names. But one day one day one day he will visit you mama Susa one day he will visit you one day he will visit your family one day he will visit your company one day he will visit oh kabayado shata oh mama mama one day one day one day he is coming for you one day he is picking you down because that cross is not the cross of your secret life. But the cross I suffer because of it. I'm nobody today. I don't have a good car because I cannot sell, uh, sell water. Because I cannot fake miracles. Because I cannot do those things. I'm the way I am. But one day, one day will visit Moja. One day will visit the church. One day, 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 he will wipe the tears of people. He will uplift his people who have been sowing in tears. Who have been labouring in tears. One day he will wipe their tears. He will glorify them. Because he is a faithful God. Because he is a keeping covenant God. Oh, 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 wait it. Because it will not lie. It's what he spoke to Habakkuk. The promise which I've given you, the vision which I've given you, wait, wait for it. It will not lie. It will not tarry. It will fulfill my desire. Wait. Keep serving him. As we know, is keeping covenant. Praise be the name of Jesus. The cross of Jesus Christ was the cross of obedience. The will of his father. Even when it was paining him. The cross which Jesus was carrying. It was not representing his sins. It was not representing his secret life. But it was portraying the submission 
to the will of his father. I'm carrying this cross. I'm living this kind of life. Not because I'm a wicked man. Not because I'm a sinner. But this is the will of my father for me. He sent me on earth. Not to do my will. But to do his will. His will is to redeem these people. And these people will be redeemed to this cross. I have to carry it. Even when it's pain me. It's when I'm suffering. I have to carry it because I'm obedient to my father. The cross of Jesus was the cross of obedience to his father to fulfill his will in his life. Let's read it again. You are not your own. Listen to me, church. You may look to yourself how handsome, how beautiful you are. But you are nothing. If the soul of God will be taken from you, you will be just a corpse. Nobody. It doesn't matter how many people are following you. It doesn't matter how many people are telling you, sweetheart, my lover, my handsome boy. Nobody will accept to, to remain with you. Touch your neighbor telling me you are just a corpse. Without the soul, without the breath of God in you, you are nothing. Without the soul of God in you, Bila, you are just a corpse. We With bad smelling. Look at yourself. Jangalie. How proud you are. Jeans will live in a kiburi. How proud you are. Jeans will live in a kiburi. Speak to yourself. I'm nobody. It's only the Zoe. The God in me. Which make me who I am. I am nobody. Mm. For you to understand this. We have to go in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah moja. Verse 4 to 5. When God was calling Jeremiah. And he, he spoke to him. Jeremiah I need you. Before you were formed in the womb of your mother. I need you. And I choose you. To be my prophet. To the nations. This life is not yours. Don't tell me, Pastor, I don't know the circumstances which I was born in. You are not an accident. You are the will of God here on earth. And there's a divine mission. A divine mission. Connected to the breath which you have. The breath which you carry. The life which you have. It carried the will of God in your life. It carried the will of God. Oh, this young man called Jeremiah didn't knew he was the agenda of God. When he was trying to show God. When he was trying to bargain with God. God you don't know me. I'm just a young boy. I'm bad in speech. I don't know to speak. I don't know to speak. And God answered this young boy. And God answered this lady. Before you are formed in the womb of your mother. I consecrated you. I set you apart for me. Count the years which you have lived. You are living in your own. You are doing whatever you want to do. You are driven by the desires of this flesh. One day you will be asked. And I thank God because I've preached this message to you. Because the Bible is clear to me. Me as your pastor. I will be answerable that day. They will call on me. And on that table. I called you. To pastor my people. Did you tell them? Yes, I remember that day. I spoke to them. I was wearing a purple suit. I was wearing a purple suit. Even when you don't consider us, even we are meaningless to you, even you see us like nobody, 
Because we don't have what you think to make people to be people. That day I will stand to give a report for Manus. Did you teach Manus? Did you give uh, Doreen an opportunity to serve me? Did you talk to Mama Angela? Did you speak to them? Did you, did you counsel them? Did you correct them that day? That day will come. That come day will come. I will not be answerable. This life is not yours. God reminded Jeremiah. It's not your life. You are, not, you are not on earth for yourself. You are not being saved for yourself. You are being saved to serve me. You are being saved to represent me wherever you will be. This is a question for all of us. How are you representing him wherever you are? How your neighbors know you? How your colleagues know you? How your friends know you? And how your pastor knows you? Praise be the name of Jesus. I've said the cross of Jesus was the cross of submission, of obedience to the plan of his father over his life who sent him here on earth. He, his cross was a sacrifice for our sin. So, uh, his course revealed obedience to his father will. His course revealed the power of love for those God loves. His course revealed the price of our soul in God's eye. Uh, uh, his course took away our shame as he wear it on his body. His cross was a place of loneliness, rejection. For others to be delivered. That is the cross we are called when to carry. You have, carry, you have to carry a cross for somebody to be delivered. You have, you have to carry the cross for this gospel to be preached. The gospel is free. But it's costly. But somebody must carry a cross. Somebody must pay it. Somebody must finance it for this gospel to reach people. It's a cost. His cross was a place of self-denial. John chapter 6 verse 38 I'm about to finish. John chapter 6 verse 38 For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will and purpose but to do the will and purpose of him Lakini kufanya mapenzi na makusudi ya Kristo. Praise be the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Listen to the word of Jesus. Sikia maneno ya Yesu Kristo. For I have I have for I have come down from heaven not to do my own will and purpose, but to do the will and purpose of him who sent me. Praise be the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus understood. Yes, he didn't come on earth duniani. to do his own will. To live his own life. But to do the will of his father. 
lakini kufanya mapenzi ya babake Yongeze sauti Sauti Sauti